if you ever find yourself asking so so what are we now you're in a situation <laughs> beautiful people my name is Jane and welcome back to my channel so in this video what we're talking about is how to know whether you are in a relationship or a situationship I mean this is kind of old but we're still going to you know do it the updated version the 2021 version of knowing whether you're in a relationship or a situationship so let's get into it now have you ever found yourself wondering what's going on? I mean, you're with someone, but it's like, sometimes it's like you, you, you just don't understand what is what is really going on, right? You see things that just make you confused and you find yourself asking questions like, so what are we now? Okay. Also, have you ever felt like you are in a relationship, but it's like you're in the relationship or in the relationship all by yourself? It's like you're dating your partner, but your partner is not dating you. You you often found you often find yourself doing the relationship things, but your partner is not reciprocating. Or one minute is like he's about to reciprocate, and then he withdraws. It's a situation. Here. Have you ever been awake in the middle of the night? You just wake up and you're crying, like you're crying hurtful tears. You're so heartbroken. You feel used. You feel abused. You feel like like you're bruised emotionally. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night and you can't stop yourself from crying because of the person that you're with? Okay, so I'm just going to go right into this thing and give you tips on how to know whether you are in a relationship or a situationship. So the first one, he or she is sending you mixed signals, right? If you're with somebody and it's like one minute he's all loving and attentive and the next minute he just switches it up on you, you know, without notice and then you start wondering what's going on. Yeah, there's a very high chance that you are in a situationship. And what's happening here is that he, the guy, let's, let, let's talk about, let's, you know, talk about the guy's perspective because most times it's guys, okay. So now let's talk about the guys, right? What happens most times is that he is in a relationship, yeah? He's in a relationship with somebody else that he loves. and But because he's stupid and he's a player when that is not really working great or when they have arguments like you know normal people doing normal relationships he leaves that place when it's not comfortable and then he comes to you he's you know because he knows you're always going to be available and you're always going to be there and he knows how you feel about him so that's why it's like one minute he's giving you all this attention but he's still looking at his main relationship his main girl and you know to see when she calms down and she you know kind of like misses him or whatever and then when things are like good with his main girl he you know has to leave most times without even saying bye to you so that's that's yeah it's like it's, when that happens it means most times you're, you're in a situation ship. that's one of the reasons why that happens he sends you mixed signals if it's a relationship if you're in a committed relationship with somebody that cares about you you will never have to wonder they will not give you they will not send you mixed signals their intentions will be known from the beginning and they will be consistent in everything they do with you you know you're his girl you know you're his girl right he's sending you mixed signals he's not being straight that's one number two he only calls or texts at odd hours you know you wake up in the morning around 7 8 and you see a, a text message that came in around 3 a.m saying i miss you so much i wish i could be with you right now if he's always texting you at very odd hours and saying things out of the blue if he's always calling you or sending you sweet text messages at very odd hours and saying sweet things and then you go oh stop it stop it this minute that boy or that man is the devil and you need to protect yourself you hear me if they are always sending you text messages at very odd hours i mean he you know two three weeks you haven't heard from him and then you wake up one morning and there's a text from him from 1 a.m 2 a.m in the morning and he's just saying sweet rubbish thing that don't even make any sense and he's all being sweet oh i miss you so much i wish i could be with you right now you're this you're that he's playing with you all right and you need to protect yourself so that's number two number three he never answers your questions with his straight answer this one is very important when you ask him something he's always invasive like you you ask him a simple question and he gives you this very long answer that doesn't make any sense I mean, you ask questions because you're trying to get clarity. 
but when he's when he opens his mouth and closes it you're more confused than when you ask the question you know he's just being evasive like what is this where were you you can't just come out straight and say this is it or that is it give you a straight answer he's always he's always being evasive like he works with cia or something like if he's like that he never answers any of your questions straight and gives you an honest answer that you know that yes this is an honest answer it's a very high chance that he's playing with you and you need to protect yourself girl mm. now number four number four is everything in his life is more important than you hmm. his car is more important than you his cat is more important than you his his shoes are more important than you his phone is more everything in his life is more important than you it's like you come last for him basically like you would have to think about oh i need to charge my phone or i need to shine my shoes or i need to wash my car like everything else comes before you like before he would think about you your needs okay he needs to call you or he needs to you know do whatever with you he will have to like everything else in his life has to be like set before you on the list like if you feel like you're not a priority like you're not on the top three <laughs> it's a very high chance you're in a situation because a man that really loves you or cares about you or wants to be with you would make an effort to let you know that you are important to him so if he's not doing that if he's making you feel like <laughs> Um, like you just come last like you're always an afterthought if you feel that way with this boy or this girl or this man then there's a very high chance that you're in a situation and not a relationship okay so that's it now the next one is when you guys are together when you do spend time together when you're able to get him alone he wants one thing and one thing alone and that's for you to get undressed he wants for you to get naked that's the only thing he wants from you you're trying to talk you're trying to be all oh so how have you been let's say he told you that he traveled and you're like oh, okay so when did you travel to what did you it's like he doesn't want to talk i mean he tells you things like oh he missed you so much and he just wants you to he just wants to be with you and all that and all that and you because you're so sprung you might find it funny and you might find it enticing or romantic there's nothing romantic about him wanting you to address you should know that now there's nothing romantic about it he came to you for one thing and one thing alone and that is for you to get naked and give him some ass so that is the only reason why that he wants you around and even when he spends time with you this one is very important he doesn't like going to public places with you he doesn't like being seen in public with you even when you guys go out it's always at night at odd hours when when there's a very low chance of him running into somebody he knows or somebody that knows his girlfriend his real girlfriend so he's always taking you to places at night very odd hours that is even if he takes you to anywhere he just makes it you know he just tells you that oh i would have loved for us to go there or go there or do this or do that so you get the impression that he's thinking it but in reality he never takes you anywhere he doesn't want to be seen with you in public even when you guys see each other he's always coming by your house at very odd hours you, you just showing up around 11 p.m 10 p.m 12 12 a.m i mean shows up at very odd hours he tells you that oh he's been busy all day he had work and this and that and you because you are in love with this devil you try your best to be there for him oh he's so tired okay let's go to the house so i can make you something to eat and you know it's not your fault basically but if you ever get to that place where you're wondering is this a relationship or it, it's it's probably not a relationship and you know so to like um to uh, conclude this video if you ever find yourself wondering what are we or asking the question what are we is this a relationship or not is this how a relationship is supposed to be if you ever find yourself in that space where you can't really tell what's going on around you there's a very high chance that you are in a situation and it's a very bad one and you need to do something about it if you find that the person that you're with is giving you more pain is hurting you more than he's loving you there's a very high chance this is not a relationship it's a situation shape and you need to get out i mean it's not easy right people always say things like if he's not right for you if he's not doing this if he's not doing that then it's time to let him go it's time to let her go it's time to walk away like it's that easy it's not easy but the truth is 
you know, manipulative men that lure women into situationship because most times you go into situationships without even knowing that that is where you are entering, right? There are people that enter it willingly, apparently. There are people that know that, okay, we're not, we're not an, an item, but we hook up from time to time. There are people that go into that and they say, you know, we're grown, whatever. That's a video for another day. But they are the, the ones that lure you into these situations without your knowledge, without you knowing. You thinking, oh, he cares about me. He's just not comfortable enough to open up. He's just this, he's just that. He's being invasive and you feel like, oh, is going to come around those ones are the devil and those ones are the ones you need to avoid by all means necessary okay so if you ever find yourself at that place where you're like wondering what is going on and stuff there's a high chance you've never been in a situation before and i mean it's going to hurt you know knowing that somebody took you for granted somebody put you in a place a position or situation that you didn't want to be in it's going to hurt like hell when you finally you know realize that this is not that this person has just been playing me all along it's going to hurt but you need to start thinking about yourself from today start thinking of your well-being starting stra start strategizing your exit so now that you've confirmed now that you know what a situation ship is and you know that that is what you're in the next phase is the next phase is planning your exit knowing that you deserve better let's say for instance before you did not know you were wondering whether oh is it is it this or is it that because because he keeps sending you these devilish mixed signals that just messes up with your mind and messes with your head and stuff and if you have been in that place and now you know better so now you start you need to start thinking about yourself i mean it's going to hurt that's one thing but they say knowledge is power knowing what is going on means you have you have you have a power the power of choice you can either choose to be with this to be in this what in this situation or you could choose or you could decide that you deserve better and then you choose to walk away i mean it's not going to be easy but what's best for you so whatever you decide to do now that you know whether you're in a relationship or situation relationship i just want you to know that you deserve all the good things in this life and you might not have it today does not mean that it's not going to come to you you deserve better you deserve happiness and whatever you do always choose choose yourself and choose your happiness and thank you for watching this video please if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the red subscribe button turn on notifications so you know when i drop a new video and give this video a like if you liked it and i will see you in my next video Bye.